over. It's finished. It's all done. Um, and I'm pretty sure the results are in. They probably are. Yeah. Here we go. Hmm. Listen up, it's going down. Repping the spot lines, we are deep cut. Okay, sure. You lip sync, we drip ink. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. What got you all flustered? It's the bot fest results. No one needs to tell me twice. Yeah! Alright. <coughs> Which team got the most votes? Scissors, easily. What? What? Oh my god. I thought... I thought we were second. I thought Paper was last. I thought Big Man had them all. No way! Hey, hey. Clap check. Oh. Ooh. All at once. Alright. <laughs> Ooh! We still got it overall, though. Excuse me. Nice. I think we've won. Two to one to zero, right? It's us. Yes. How did Scissors tank that hard after the halftime win? That's insane. I'd thank um, Prochara and Debus and people like that. A load of pros were on our side, in fairness. So that's that's nice. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Oh, I don't know what Big Man said. Oh, I'll have to read it back. Big Man, that makes no sense. Anyway, congrats, Team I She does not have a speech impediment, I'm sure, but... I just had one for a second, so now she has one as well. There you go. Anyway, congrats, Team Walk. <laughs> Shout out to Team Paper, we almost turned them in pub. Hey. And that's a wrap on Splatfest World Premiere. Well played, everyone. Can you hear that I'm hungry? That's all for now. For Splatfield, that's a wrap. Catch you later. Alright. Nice. Cute. I didn't see this guy though, the third guy. I pointed at my screen thinking you'd see it for some reason. Is it gonna... Hmm. Is it gonna do anything? No? Can't even walk around. Okay, fine. So... <laughs> I, I'd have liked Scissors to be second, honestly. That's how the cookie crumbles, I guess. But this has been the most fun I've had in a long time. Um... Let's go for a review, shall we? <laughs> Let's go for a small review. So overall, very balanced. Nothing felt unfair. Nothing felt like it could have been... Um, nothing felt overpowered. Not even Tacticool, honestly. And where it did feel overpowered... Well, I didn't really run into it. That's why I didn't feel overpowered. But where it did feel overpowered... The easy fix is just changing how much special you have left after dying while on its effects. I think all the other effects are completely fine. Just you keep all of your special gauge when you respawn. That takes it a bit far. If you just bump that down a little bit even, it would be a huge improvement in my opinion. So that's the first thing. The specials. Oh, um, the specials. Uh, I've already mentioned Tacticooler um, literally seconds ago. Reef Slider, um, a lot of people have been saying it's really good. I don't agree. I think it was a little bit underwhelming. Yeah, I think it was okay. Um, it was very fun, but I don't think it was the powerhouse that people say it was. I think people will get really good at it, and it will be something that the higher ranks might mess around with bit, pretty big. But other than that, I don't really see it being the top dog, you know? As for the most underwhelming special, Killer Whale, in a way, and this is a very flimsy comparison, I almost feel as though it's going to be the new Tentamissals. 
in the it's not really okay it's not an annoying special by any means it's not like it's not overpowered it's not unfair or anything but the reason i say it is because it's really easily avoided it just kind of requires it just kind of forces you to move which is going to get annoying that's what i mean you know that's how you avoid tenter missiles as well that's why i'm making the comparison it doesn't compare to tenter missiles at all it's not as unfair as tenter missiles but i think it's comparable in the effect it has on the opponent you're using it against right it just kind of forces movement it's not much and it's just kind of a little nuisance to deal with i guess something to annoy you give it clash blaster or something give it an annoying main weapon something i didn't really get to see was booyah bomb um but apparently it has lightning effects so they're going into the anime route with that i thought the uh zipcaster i thought that was really cool uh, i like that spider-man is now in the game uh, I like that Greninja is now in the game. Didn't really get to see much of it again. When I did use it, very fun. It probably won't be the special that I like the most, uh, which I will get into, but it's still very fun. Still, still something I would consider. Still something I would use for fun, right? Nothing I would choose seriously. Something I would choose seriously, though, two come to mind. Crab Tank and Tri... God, I always mix them up. Trizuka, I think. Yes. Trizuka. I thought they were very good. Um, I got into the swing of those very quickly. I like the two rates, the two modes of fire for the crab tank, and I like the little ball movement. Uh, just for the record, just in case you were wondering, you can run over opponents with it. I found this out in the lobby. It takes three hits, they do about 40 damage each. <laughs> Can't wait to see the clips of that. And then Trizuka, um, I found that if you aim just a little bit higher than you were hoping to, because the special kind of, it kind of does like this weird spiraling thing, this like spiraling orbit around a certain arc, rather than following the arc exactly. So just aim a little bit above where you are aiming to go, and you will probably clip some enemies on the way down. Otherwise, it's a very strong special. Inkvac was very nice too. I really liked the charge shot on that. Very nice. It was almost like um, Rainmaker shot, but and I also like that the back is open um, on a lot of these specials. Uh, it adds a level of balance that I think was necessary for them. I really liked uh, the Splatana Wiper. That is such a fun weapon, very combo oriented. I've seen some people on Twitter say that it will be a very niche weapon, to which I wouldn't disagree, but I don't know. I don't think it'll be totally niche. I think it'll be just enjoyable enough that people will be willing to pick it up and give it and learn it, you know. I don't think it'll be insanely niche. Um, what I do think will be insanely niche, though, is the bow. That weapon is just tragic. I don't know why they led the game with that, and I don't know why that's the main part of their source material. Good god, it's awful, isn't it? It doesn't ink well, and... Oh. <laughs> I can't even express it. I just... It's not a good weapon at all. Um, people apparently have been hacking in the small bow. Um, I haven't seen this footage, but apparently it's way better. Apparently it's got way better inking. Apparently it can one-shot kill. Apparently it's just far superior to it. And honestly, I think they just kind of went with the weapon that they thought looked more badass. And I think Splatan the Wiper might have even just been a later addition. I don't think that when they announced the 2 and 3 initially, I don't think the Splatan the Wiper existed yet. I'm going to be honest. Because I think if it did, they would have led with that easily. It's whatever. We're not here to talk about that. Uh, something that Chara kept mentioning on his stream was uh, Dynamo Roller is slightly nerfed. There's, It's either more ink hungry or I think he mentioned that the effects of something might be lower. So that's interesting. Apparently he would usually get seven flings out of the Dynamo Roller before requiring a refill. And now it takes six. So... Apparently there's something going on there, um, I'm not sure what that is, I'll have to see what he says about it in his own review. So what were my favourite weapons overall? The Splat Julies, as I expected, very solid. Right near the end there, got me a lot of wins, got me a lot of, it got me into enemy base quite a lot. Um, I have a video coming up on the Nintendo Switch captures that I got on this game. I was expecting to make a meme video, I didn't get many. Uh, meme stuff on there, so it'll just be Eclipse compilation instead of what I usually do with those, but yeah. Uh, 
very good weapon. Love crab tank, love suction bump. Suction bump's my favourite sub. Uh, and it gave it one of my favourite specials from this game, so that's very nice. And then the same thing for the splatter shot, actually. Um, very solid sub and special. Very good in conjunction with the main weapon, I think. <coughs> and Splatana Wiper was also up there with my favourites. I'm a big fan of combos in games, and the Splatana Wiper seems very tailored to that. Um, I liked the uh, the torpedo combo I had going, where I would throw a torpedo, have the residue hit it, do a chat shot, and then for any health that was left on it, I would just spam the button. That worked really well for me. Funnily enough, the stamp worked really well for me as well. I didn't really use it much for sliding across the ground, but pinging that thing, I've mastered it. I've mastered pinging the stamp at people. And you can see that in my Splatana Wiper compilation that I posted earlier. The customization options, really solid. I like the, uh, the lack of gender locking. Um, the effects of gender now are only uh, visual, even then it's not even that much. The only real visible difference I even noticed was some of the animations and then the uh, the octoling eyes. They were... the females have like this, this weird eyelash at the bottom of their eyes. So, yeah, other than that, there is literally no difference and that's something that I'm sure people will appreciate. My favourite hairstyle, of course, as you can see through all the videos I've posted on it, the pompadour. Incredible hairstyle. The bounce physics on that as well. Perfection. <laughs> the maps. That's something I can mention. There were only six maps on rotation, I believe. Seven include if you include Sturgeon. So six new ones, kind of? Three of them? Was it three of them? No, two of them. We're in Splatoon 1, Mahi Mahi Resort, and uh, Museum d'Alfonsino. I'm a, I'm a fan of Museum d'Alfonsino. There's a common complaint about Mahi Mahi in that it is not big enough initially, and that it improves once the water level lowers, and I agree. I think literally if they just made it bigger, they literally just, you know how in um, photo editing, you can just drag the corner and it makes it bigger, they should do that with Mahi Mahi Resort. <laughs> that's what they should do, because that's what it needs at the moment. It just needs to be a little bit bigger, because it feels a little bit tight in the beginning, and it feels like you're not really contributing anything if you're on the losing side in the half, in the first half. So that's a bit, I don't know, it's a little bit frustrating. Otherwise, it's pretty solid. I enjoy it quite a lot, and it's a cool gimmick. I just think it needs a bit more to it in the first half of it, and that will improve things hugely. Um, and then as for Museum del Falsino, I don't really remember much about it uh, in Splatoon 1, same with Mahi Mahi, but it's really good. I really like um, uh, the rotating platforms. I think it adds such a cool element to it, and it's very easy to get into enemy base on that map, I found. Um, pretty much every time we were on that map rotation, we won because I just kept getting in. <laughs> It's a really fun map too. Um, my favourite map on this game was Mincemeat Metal Works, which I was not expecting based on the uh, Twitter clips that they showed of it beforehand. I thought it was going to be quite dull, but no, it was pretty nice. Into Spillway was pretty nice as well. Wasn't as close to my favourite though. It was enjoyable. Um, it was really big which I wasn't expecting. It was a very big map. You know, I thought it was going to be very corridor-like, but no, really big, which I really like. I like um, a big map like that. I think it's, uh, I think it gives a lot of opportunities to turn a game around when you look at the map and you realize, oh, we haven't inked this bit of the area. Oh, oh, you know, I like that element a lot, even though it sometimes feels a bit like a chore. It kind of bugs me that not all of the maps that they had were on rotation, but then I also guess that it wouldn't really be a test fire if they had them all on, would it? They just need to test some of the main parts of the game. They need to test every weapon class, see how that works, see how people respond to it. It's not all about the maps, this uh, world premiere. It's all about testing the servers and it's all about testing the weapons, I think. So yeah, hopefully they see all the feedback on the boat and they make huge improvements because it needs it. It really does. I want it to be a good weapon. Unfortunately, it just isn't. My phone is ringing. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. Anyway. <laughs> God, what was he talking about? Maps. Um, what else was on? Sturgeon ship, yeah, tricolor so forth was nice. Um, I didn't notice any differences. I noticed that, there, actually, there wasn't a ramp leading up to enemy base. Maybe that's just a turf war thing, though, uh, to make things a little bit more balanced, a little bit more fair, to make sure that people aren't ganging up on one side or the other. So, maybe they'll bring it back in normal turf wars and ranked modes. Well, they will bring it back in ranked modes, it's necessary. That's the only thing I really noticed different about it, otherwise it's still a very good map, uh, still approve. Oh yeah, I was mentioning that I was kind of bummed that all the maps weren't there. I really wish Hagglefish Market was in. I really wanted to see what that was like, because we didn't see much of it in the trailer. So maybe it's in an early stage of development. That's only slightly unfortunate. What else was in? Eeltail Alley. Um, people really liked that one. Gotta say it, not really a big fan. Maybe it just never played on weapons that I was good at, but yeah, wasn't too big on that one, personally. Uh, what else was on? Something else was on, I'm sure of it. I googled it, and all the results were like, oh, data miners think they found the Splatoon world map. Ugh, shut up. Alright, let's see here. Scorch Gorge! <laughs> um, very nice. I like that. Also, quite easy to get into base. They sold it on um, Treehouse Live, like it was really difficult, but it really was not. It was a bit easy, um, especially if you have Reef Slider, actually. That's a good use for it, it's getting into areas. Yeah, pretty strong map. Um, they will probably add more methods into base when it comes to ranked modes, um, because it will be necessary. But yeah, very nice. Under Toast Spillway, Mince Meat Mountain Works, Hammerhead Bridge wasn't on. That's the other one I'd like. I'd have liked to see, naturally. I don't have anything else to say. Yeah, I don't have anything else to say. So that's it. My next video will probably be NS captures. Uh, so be excited for that. It won't be memes like the previous ones. It'll just be clips. Um, Cause I didn't get many uh, funny things happening. I got a few. They will be included in the video. Don't worry. But most of them are just really nice kills that I got. So I also got um, some performances because they were very good. But yeah. Um, also, scheduled for the day before Splatoon 3's release, I have a video, uh, my final video for, for Splatoon 2. It's been recorded, it's been edited, and it is being posted the day before Splatoon 3 releases. It's got kills, it's got memes, it's got all of that, so it hasn't got commentary though, I didn't include any of that, but that's something that I'm posting, very wholesome this is going to be a very boring two weeks thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time ciao my dudes